Hi guys, we're back here for another vlog. Well this time we're going to go up into what we call our skybox, which is where I have friends and customers and just people that I like go up there and they can watch me ride horses, watch their horse be in training. We can hang out, bullshit, have a drink, etc. We finished decorating it now and there's a lot of personal memorabilia in there that I like and I'll share it with you guys. Let's go have a look. So we go up here some stairs. Coming on through. So I wanted a place that customers, friends, and myself could hang out in and still be able to see the arena. Okay, so I've got big glass doors and windows here, just big glass windows here. We're currently got the arena flat right now. I laser leveled it last night, and Jim Kaiser is coming out to touch up my dirt and do a little bit more work on the dirt. My, all my arenas, I have them worked on once a year by Jim and Bob Kaiser, just like you go to an annual you know, doctor's checkup once a year. I do that with all my arenas as well, okay? And obviously you've got to maintain them with ABI drags and you've got to make sure you water them and all that, but taking care of the actual dirt integrity and changing out the dirt and adding dirt, it's kind of like a soup. So that's what uh, Jim's going to be doing tomorrow. So. Kind of let me step back here. Here's kind of the room in general. Kind of got a bar over here. Four or five chairs here. And then a kitchen down here. So I have lunch up here every day as well. So let's go down here and have a look. So basic kitchen, fridge, microwave, um, toaster, blah, 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 coffee maker. This is the rack for all the IT stuff. So it's a smart barn. So everything runs off this, runs off a smart barn. So this is kind of cool. This, believe it or not, is my very first advertising. This sign here, my mother, pack rat, I call her, saved this. I don't know how she thought about saving it, but she saved it. From Australia, this is the very first form of advertising I ever did. I started training horses for myself in Alton Downs and just outside of Rockhampton, Queensland at Peter Hall's place. And if Peter's watching this, he would know this sign. I had it posted down the end of the road with a couple of T-posts. And this is my uh, advertising. Clinton Anderson Training Tables. Training, showing, breaking in. That's like cult starting, you know, in America. Re-educating. That's basically code for fixed up, really fucked up horses. Feel the difference. That means I get them real broke. And uh, that was my first sign. That was my old cell phone number. That was back in the days when we had bag phones, that it was the cool thing to carry on a phone that was 55 pounds heavy. So my mother sa saved it, and that is the actual original sign. Pretty cool, okay? So then I just kind of decorated it. Here's one of my favorite photos. This is my granddad. Him and my grandmother got me into horses. He's uh, 94, just turned 94 a couple of days ago, and he's doing great in Australia. Uh, this is of my late friend, Doug Carpenter, in the middle. He passed away from COVID last year. That was the last time I got to see him. Um, that's Tom Sims, my best mate on the other side of him, me. That was when I bought a horse from him, a really nice horse from him, and we were just holding up the check. I paid $125,000 for that horse, and uh, it was just great to buy it from my friend, and we just had a great time. This photo up here is the very first Road to the Horse that I ever won. That was the very first Road to the Horse competition. I can't get out of the light there, but um, I won that competition and that, I stood on the horse's back and cracked a whip. So the logo that Road to the Horse have, where you stand on the horse's back, that's where it came from. That photo there, 2D Bland, took that photo and that's where their logo, a lot of people don't know that, but I was the first guy to ever do that. A lot of people copied me over the years, but I was the first guy to ever do that, stand on a horse's back and crack a whip on a colt in three hours and that's where their logo came from. Here's another cool photo of Ian Francis, my mentor and Doug at a party in Stephenville. Oh, me and Doug again, we're standing in front of a bunch of Billy Clap Clapper bits. Uh, you can't really see him in the background. This is a cool photo. This is me and Gordon McKinlay when I was his apprentice back in Australia. There's a, there's a store in Rockhampton, Queensland called Stockman's Corner. I don't know if it's still there, but uh, Peter Hall managed it at the time, and that was the cover of their catalog. So that was Gordon and me. I used to start a lot of colts in these stockyards back here, and we were riding out uh, to gather cattle up. He was on a Dox Oak stud. I was on a Clover Pinaroo filly. And that's where it all started, okay? 
Just some more photos up there. Doug was a great photographer. A photo of me. I don't know if you can see it. Billy Clapper, me. Billy Clapper is like a world-class uh, bit and spur maker. Uh, really rare. They're kind of like art pieces now. And Doug Carpenter, he broke his arm uh, on that one. The funny story on that, Doug's, Doug's arm was in a sling. And we, laugh about, we laughed about it when he was alive. But the horse gunner, I'm talking about the horse gunner, bucked him off and broke his arm and Doug actually had a chance to buy Gunner and he thought he was just a massive pig he told me that he's just a big soggy sided pig and he hated him now we laugh about it because Gunner went on to win a bunch and sire a bunch of phenomenal horses and being a great sire so we we laugh at it every once in a while you'll miss on a good horse where you'll think it's terrible and it ends up being great and we laughed about it to the day he died that he, he let gunner out of his hands and not only that gunner bucked him off and broke his arm too so we laugh about that doug had a great sense of humor so um that was doug roping in australia we went to do an outback clinic uh another one of me and doug at a party that was when I won the go-round at the Cow Horse Viturity in the rain. And that was a great photo of me and Ian in a Vegas. That was the Vegas tour that I retired Mindy at. I'm on Mindy, he's on Diaz. My parents, Rob and Cheryl and me, and when we did the Australian Outback series on YouTube, that was taken then. Okay. So uh, over here. So this, I'm very proud of this. This is the NRHA Hall of, I don't know if you can read it, NRHA Hall of Fame trophy for Princess and Diamonds. She, saw it, she produced over a million dollars of reigning winners. There's very few mares that are in the NRHA Hall of Fame. And I managed a whole career and uh, very proud of that. Moving on here, that was Princess and Diamond's AQHA trophy for leading, leading NRHA dam. Uh, it was a great photo of me and Tootie Bland when I won the second road to the horse. Me and my best mate, Tom Sims. Here's another photo of that's Clint Allen, me, Ian Francis, and Doug at a big party. That was an NRBC trophy I won of, oh, 10 years or more ago. Oh, here, let me go over here. So I'm uh, kind of not on collecting Billy Clapper bits over the years. I've got quite a few of them, and I just keep them in the safe. They're kind of like art forms now. You don't even really use them. Oh, Princess and the Pearl, uh, Princess on the Prowl buckle, and I won the NRBC on her. Great painting of Mindy. I'm not even sure who gave that to me, but I really like it. Uh, they did a doll of Mindy years ago, and I kept one of them. Another Billy Clapper bit. This is a great halter and lead rope that my late Doug fr friend uh, Doug Carpenter, of uh, one of his, so he gave it. His wife gave it to me when he passed on. Oh, different. Things. This is a cool little hackamore that I got from Al Dunning, so I keep that in here. Al Dunning's a phenomenal horseman, great mentor, a really good whip, and some really cool handmade hobbles. This is a, just a TV that just plays photos of different people that are important to me in my career, my mum and dad, and just different people that I like to have on there. Uh, this is the NRHA Hall of Fame banquet when I got my trophy. That was Kristen Schutz. She also originally owned Princess and Diamonds in the very, very beginning and a great friend. Some more Billy Clapper. Some more Billy Clapper bits and spurs. These are some great spurs. These are number 78s. I like them. Um, just various different bits and so forth. Tom Sims, my buddy, and Melissa showing her horse. I got lots of flags that I put up. I have a lot of people in the military that send me flags and I love displaying them. I love people in the military. If anybody's in the military, I've really got their back. I just love people in the military. Another Billy Clapper bit. So here's a funny collage of photos. This is like the very first expo I did. I don't know if you can see this, but this was my booth. It was a 10 by 10 booth. How funny is that? It had a banner in the background, the flag. I think three people showed up to meet me. I think two of them were just fucking lost and sat down. The other person found me. Uh, this is the very first clinic I did. This was in Vermilion, Ohio. Look how skinny I was. Oh my God, look at the booth. It's packed. I think there's three people there. Um, so this is all funny. That was, that was the crowd that I used to get. The very first clinic I ever did, people had a few lawn chairs and they were watching. Oh my God, look how skinny I was back then. Holy shit. Okay. So just some funny stuff. That was the very, this photo here was the very first equine affair I ever did uh, in uh, Columbus, Ohio. That was the booth there as well. One person stopped by, felt sorry for me. 
Oh, it's just a cool photo that we took in Australia with a horse that was being a real pig and wanting to kick up and be a piece of shit when we didn't want to go forward. Remember, I told you when horses get sticky feet, they get sticky minds, they get sticky feet. So this Geldon didn't want to move forward. So when I spank him, he'd kick up with hind legs. Every time he'd kick up, I'd spank him again until he realized he had to move all four feet forward. This is a cool photo of Ian Francis, my mentor. Ian won the Clark Corey Stockman's Challenge in Australia twice. I think this horse was called Doc's Gold. Do I can't remember what his name was now. Great horse. It was a reining horse first and then a cow horse. Um, just a bar here, pretty cool bar and, and entertainment and so forth. This is when we retired Mindy. That photo there was when Mindy came out. It's on YouTube. If you want to see her retirement video, it's on YouTube. Look it up. Um, Mindy at Liberty. Okay, some more military flags up the top. And uh, that's really about it. It's just a cool place to be able to sit down. Uh, somebody can come watch their horse, hang out. It's all air conditioned, heated. We have lunch up here uh, every day. Chris and I have lunch up here every day. It's got some bar stools, etc. So just kind of full of personal things that are real important to me that I love. But this sign's kind of funny. You see our marketing now. And all the marketing I do now, this is exactly where it came from, right here. This sign, shit, this would be, I bet this came out and this was made in 1993, if I had to guess, maybe 92. Eh, somewhere in there, 93, 94, somewhere in there anyway. It's not bad shape for all these years. How my mother got it from uh, Australia to America is beyond me. She's pretty crafty like that. Uh, but anyway. So listen, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Just a little personal trip down memory lane for me. Take care, guys. Cheers. Want more? Get more. The No Worries Club is the best way to get the most out of your training experience. Stick around to find out more. Take your horsemanship to the next level. The No Worries Club Premium Membership is your ultimate portal to complete your horse training. You'll have access to Clinton's complete training library, thousands of hours of step-by-step -step instructional videos. You'll master all aspects of horsemanship, from fundamentals to trick training. You'll have access to our exclusive social network that connects you with thousands of dedicated horsemen from around the world. You'll have the method available wherever you are and accessible through the web, your phone and tablets, or your favorite streaming devices. You'll receive eight all-new training videos per year and the quarterly No Worries Journal, as well as access to the ever-growing video library, Q&As, performance horse series, blogs, and more. But that's not all. You also get free tickets to walkabout tours and priority access to the latest news coming from Down Under Horsemanship. Not to mention VIP pricing on all of Clinton's must-have training tools. So what are you waiting for? Unlock the ultimate access and jumpstart your training program today.